57 degrees this morning, which is 13 and a half centigrade, I believe. A little chilly, feels good, humid, foggy. So, I watched uh, four episodes of Community last night, and then I read for a little while, then I went to bed. Could not get to sleep, of course. I was up to at least midnight lying in bed. Uh, woke up a couple times in the night, I think. Up at 6.30 and went back to sleep till 7. And here we are, pretty normal morning. Except that I gotta drive to Winston to pick Mom up. Which I'm nervous about because I hate leaving the dogs for that long. Because they'll be alone for at least four hours. And it just makes me nervous. I get worried about things like, will there be a fire? Will somebody break in? Hurt the dogs? It's dumb, I know. But, hopefully everything will be okay. Okay, we're off to pick up mom from Winston-Salem. It's about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, I should get there around quarter afternoon. And then we'll be back by about two, uh, hopefully 2.30 miss my dogs already. I'm worried about them, which I always do. What's up? What is it? What you hear? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, be careful, Mom. <laughs> Get back, girls. I know, you're both excited. <laughs> no, get down, get down. Yeah. Afternoon walk. So, we I drove down to Winston-Salem this morning, picked Mom up at Village Tavern in Winston-Salem. I think I already said Winston-Salem. Oh, I just ran into a really mega spider web. Hold on. Come on, come on. Up, up, up. Uh, and then we drove back. Uh, it was a pretty good trip. I mean, it was an easy one. I haven't probably left the county in years. Or even driven further than Boone or Banner Elk is probably the furthest I've driven in a while. So, got home, had a night to the dinner table magazine, so I read it. There is a review of mine in there, which is awesome. Read that, putzed around line for a few minutes, and here we are. Tonight's gonna be just leftovers. Probably leftover steak. Mom bought a small piece of, uh, okay, it's probably their smallest piece of carrot cake, but it's actually huge. So we'll probably chop that up and have a couple bits of it tonight too. That's okay, it. we got another dog here. It's not Daisy and Dottie, they're over there. I'm right in the sun, so I can't tell what I'm video recording. Both of them are over there. I see her. I see tails and stuff. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. She was, I, she let me pet her before and everything, but I don't know who she belongs to. Okay, we're gonna get some videotape and a couple pictures. Wait, wait, girls, girls, girls. So that is Largo. That's our neighbor Dave's third dog. I only thought he had two. Daisy and Dottie. She was very good. We went up to his other piece, his other house up there at the switchback. And she stuck with us. She's looking around for her. Uh, uh, very pretty dog. And then she came back with us. And then we ran into him. So that's good to know. 